I'm Sarah Casto, Assistant Conservator at the George Eastman Museum, and this is the blueprint for George Eastman's carriage house, stable, and greenhouses. When it came to the conservation lab, it had many tears that likely occurred from handling and use as an architectural document. The tape was beginning to discolor with age, a sign that the tape should be removed. This tool is a hot air pencil. It blows a gentle, controlled stream of warm air at the tape. The heat softened the adhesive and allowed me to remove the plastic tape carrier with a spatula. Then I removed any remaining adhesive using an adhesive pickup eraser. The adhesive appeared dark because it also contained dirt from the back of the blueprint. Next, I surface cleaned the back of the blueprint. I grated white vinyl eraser into small crumbs and gently rolled these crumbs over the surface. This technique removes dirt without causing abrasion to the paper. Get up the dirt. I used a block eraser to carefully clean the edges of the tears, where the small eraser crumbs could become trapped or cause more damage. I carefully brushed away all of the eraser crumbs using a soft brush. Once clean, the tears were repaired from the back using wheat starch paste and Japanese paper. The paste was applied to strips of Japanese paper, which were positioned over the tears and lightly burnished into place. The mended areas were dried under blotting paper and weight to prevent the new mends from causing any distortions as they dried. Some areas of the blueprint were completely detached when the tape was removed and needed to be reassembled like a small puzzle. In all, there were over 60 inches of tears to repair. After the repairs were dry, the blueprint was turned face up so I could examine the mended tears from the front. The last step, although not necessary, was to in-paint some of the repaired tears. In-painting makes the tears less visible, which helps viewers read the lines and text more easily. The blueprint was photographed before and after treatment, and this video compresses approximately 35 hours of treatment into just three and a half minutes.